Illustrative math, algebra two, unit six, lesson eight is called rising and falling. All right, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Pause the, the video and come up with some, some things. All right, what do I notice? Well, I notice that the graph goes up and down. The graph is never negative, okay, meaning it doesn't drop below the x-axis. I notice that the maximum is at 1.8 or so. I notice that the graph repeats. I notice that the top part is curved and the bottom is pointy. I notice each cycle takes a little less than two minutes. <clears throat> okay, see here I go complete a full cycle, a little less than two. Top's at 1.8, keeps repeating. Top is kind of curved, bottom's pointy. All right, let's do some wonders. All right, I wonder what event this graph represents. What makes the graph look straight in some parts, but curved in others? What is happening when the distance is zero? Why does it cause that little point there to bounce back? <clears throat> All right, here are some relationships that produce graphs that have a repetitive nature. For each situation, describe the dependent and independent variable. How does the dependent variable change? What might cause this change? All right, so this is the graph of the distance of a race car from the starting line if it goes around the track. Okay, so you start at the starting line, it gets farther, farther away, and then it starts to come back. And when it crosses the line again, you're back to where you started. Your distance is zero. Okay. And then you do the whole thing again. You go around the track again. So I would say something along the lines of distance from the start line is zero when starting as the car goes around the track. It gets farther. But then it starts coming back towards the track, or back towards the start. So the distance decreases to zero and repeats. About every 1.8 minutes. All right, next one. Graph of the temperature in a city in Australia over 21 days. It looks like the temperature goes up and then goes down. Goes up, goes down, up and down. It's always going up and down. Um, sometimes it goes up more and down more or less. But I would say that every day it repeats, it goes up and down. I'd say probably because it is warmest at midday and coldest at night. I would say temperatures vary from 
day to day. So although it goes up and down, the amount of change and max, maximum and minimum can vary. Okay. And here's another one. This is the graph of two populations over time. So we have red is represents a hair and blue represents a length. Doesn't really say what the pink is, but well, the pink must be the overlap part. You can see the or so you can kind of see through the the blue to see where the red would be. All right. So I would say both the hair and lynx populations go through cycles <clears throat> with highs and lows. They vary from year to year. Probably depending on outside factors such as climate, humans, etc. All right, next we're going to do a card sort. So I'm going to give you a set of cards that show graphs. Sort the cards into categories of your choosing. Be prepared to describe your categories. Um, and then we're going to sort them into new categories in a different way. Okay? All right. So I need to zoom out here so we can see all of these cards. All right. Here we go. We have all of them here. So I'm going to start out by doing... Um, I'm going to do graphs that repeat and graphs that don't repeat. Okay. So I'm going to use an R for repeat. So this one repeats, this one repeats, this one repeats, this one repeats, and that's it. Okay. None of the other graphs repeat. They just, you know, it's a parabola, it's an exponential, this is a flipped exponential, linear. They don't repeat. Okay. So. There's that. All right, let's do, um, let's do, uh, I'm going to name them by, by um, category. So this is a quadratic. I'm going to do all my quadratics, my parabolas here. Okay, I'll do my linears next. This is a linear, 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 linear. I'm going to do my exponentials. Exponential, exponential. Looks like a flipped exponential, so I'll call it that. That's a decay. Oh, I missed the parabola. Whoops. My parabola was, this is a quadratic. Remember, quadratic means x squared, um, exponential to the x power. Linear is y equals mx plus b. Um, and then these ones here, I guess I'll just, I don't really know anything about these. I don't know what they're called, so I'm going to just put question marks with those, okay? All right, let's try something else here. Um, graphs that um, are continuous versus discrete. Discrete are the ones with the dots. They aren't connected, so I'm going to call those discrete. And all the other ones will be continuous, okay? So there's that. Uh, let's see, what other categories could I do? How about this one? Ones that um, have a... Ones that... Graphs that are always positive, always negative, or positive and negative. So this graph is always positive, always positive. Do all my positive ones first. This looks like it goes on forever. This one will decay down stay above 
And this one's always positive. This one's always negative, always negative, always negative because it stays below when it repeats. And then these ones are both. Always positive. It can be positive and negative. It dips down into positive or dips down into negative ter territory, but also goes into positive. Okay. All kinds of different things you can do. They're kind of fun. Just kind of playing around with these. All right. Any function that repeats its values at regular intervals is called a periodic function. Okay. There's something new. You might want to write that down somewhere. Any function that repeats its values at regular intervals is called periodic. Not just functions about moving in circles like clock hands. Okay. Suggest situations that would have some kind of periodic graph like the examples discussed in this lesson. Okay, what kind of things are periodic? Um, let's see what we can think of here. About sound waves. Sound waves repeat. They just kind of go um, kind of like those graphs we're looking. Um, energy use over the course of a year. Okay, I always look at my, uh, I always get a little bar graph on my electric bill, and it always shows um, how much electricity we consumed every, every year, every month, actually. And if you keep your bill It'll show the last 12 months, and if you notice, it, it kind of just repeats. Um, you kind of generally use the same amount of electricity in January um, every year, unless, you know, you have more people move into your house, then you would obviously consume more electricity. Um, <clears throat> we obviously said height of an object rotating in a circle. We did the Ferris wheel example before. Um you know, anything rotating in a circle. Um, height. Of, of, how about an elevator? Height of an elevator. Okay, it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. All right. What kind of things cause values to repeat periodically? I would say situa situation occurring over and over again causes the graph to repeat itself. Okay. And the last thing here. Here's a graph of the tide height for a town in Delaware. Ooh, the tide. That was a good one. Um, in Delaware over a full day. For the graph situation, describe the dependent and independent variable. How does the dependent variable change? Be as specific as possible. Okay. So the independent variable is time after hours, time and hours after midnight. And the, the independent variable is time, hours after midnight. And the dependent is water height and feet. Okay. So, you know, I would say the dependent variable is the water height. And it starts at 4.3 feet at midnight. And it decreases until, I uh, will say, 6. 15 a.m. and then it starts increasing again until 12:30 maybe we'll say a little after 12 at which time it is back to 4.3 feet. Then it repeats this cycle 
about every 12 hours. Okay. So the dependent variable is just time going, or the independent variable is just time. So it looks like a full cycle is 12 hours roughly. Okay. Uh, maybe not 12, 15. Maybe not, maybe more like 12, 15. Looks like it because I said it was 12 hours. Okay, so here's a full cycle of the graph right there. All right, and then it repeats it again. And there we go. Keeps going on and on. So, you know, the tide goes out, tide comes in. So your height um, of the water level is constantly changing. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.